It's considered a food desert with a lack of fresh, healthy food. But after months of planting and fundraising, a new community garden is now open in Linda Vista. ABC 10 News reporter Spencer Shorsher shows us the fruits of the labor. <laughs> A little June gloom can't dim the light that shines, planting sunflowers. That's fun. Plenty of fun. If you're walking here today, you're seeing so many kids loving this area. Raul Campillo is planting seeds too. He's the city council member who represents District 7, which includes Linda Vista. The area is considered a food desert, with only one grocery store within walking distance. That's why the opening of the Linda Vista Community Garden is a really big deal. In our community in Linda Vista, there is, there is a need um, for healthy food. This is a food insecure community. Amy Zink works with the Bayside Community Center. She's worked on the garden's concept and has done plenty of planting too. What I see is tons of food that our, our friends and community members are gonna grow and feed to their family and be able to commune together and learn from each other. The garden features 17 raised beds where community members can grow vegetables and herbs. You can plant a whole entire row of seeds. And Campillo hopes the garden plants the seeds for a community that works and grows together. I think for decades, people are gonna be coming to this spot to learn, have fun, build their community, grow food and eat it. In Linda Vista, Spencer Soysher, AB BC 10 News. The Bayside Community Center says this is the first use of a decade-old city policy that allows public space to support a community garden.